challenge is to not die going down. Even though we're still going up. Okay, I took a wrong turn. I'm not lost. I'm fine. Alright, let's get back on track. It's slow, it's no big deal right there. Okay, I'm back on track. And I think we have five switchbacks before I need to take the left and uh, it joins up with the green route down into Silverton. No switchback here. How you doing? Uh, like, how did a 650-pound tank get up on this pass? Well, I'm an intermediate tank driver, intermediate-level tank driver. I'm no, I'm no expert, as you guys can probably tell, but I'm doing it just fine. I think it'd be good to have some upper body strength and, you know be able to practice holding on to the tank, your gas tank with your legs. I need to be quiet and concentrate. Look at this. I'm kind of feathering the back wheel here. That was a little intimidating, but not, nothing to get freaked out about. Kids. That's a, this is a great thing to do with your family. Not on a motorcycle, I don't think. Don't put anybody in the back of your bike. You can rent those side-by-sides in Silverton. And probably a couple other places. Or Ray. I'm going to come down this way. But momentum, momentum take you. Okay, this is pretty obvious down here. If you want to go to Silverton, just go straight. Do not take this switch back. And uh, my friends said that if you do take the switch back and stay on Kevin's blue route, it's it's pretty treacherous. It's it's harder. So I'm gonna do the safer thing with this big tank. a little crazy right there going over some rocks but it's no big deal just let your momentum carry you don't use your front brake maybe better at the point. oh thank you appreciate it we'll let him pull over yeah there we go Thank you. I wonder if I could get a pizza delivered up here. Holy cow. Someone took a wrong turn. Oh. Am I going to follow this, this joker? <laughs> that was crazy. I did not expect to see a Volvo up here. <laughs> Uh, sorry, but big guy. Sorry. It's only when you look over the cliff that you can get a little freaked out. You just feather the back brake. I don't even touch the front brake much. Maybe feathering it sometimes. You don't even need to do that. Get yourself in low gear. You got a hiker. He's doing it the old school way. All right. I'm in second gear, folks. That water is so crystal clear. 
probably shouldn't be waving to everybody. Keep my damn hands on the steering wheel. He didn't want to wave these guys. Hardcore, man. Now, if it was raining or had been raining a lot, would I do this? No. There's too much chance for mud. You know, in uh, slippery conditions, you're dealing with, I don't know. On a big bike, I'd say no. Let's check the weather the night before. Look for Lake City and see what the weather is. Alright, what do we have here? Eureka! Oh wow, look at that. That's what's to come, folks. 